We are now about to go through Masonista's build, which is titled The Mace Shire. Oh, I do, but no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I putzed. I putzed. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I'll tell you. I'm good for now. I'm good for now. <sighs> I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what you've done. The Mace Shire, everyone. Once upon a time, choke cough. <laughs> Once upon a time. <clears throat> so to be straightforward, these are, these are Mace's words. I built the Shire, which speaks for itself. Building materials used a metric butt ton, basically. Hell yeah, Mace. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mace. One metric butt ton. One metric butt ton. Inspiration. I just started with a floor, and then the spirit of Bilbo rushed into me and took over. I love it. Okay, so here's the imagined route, and I'll say this, and then we'll also uh, be guided by Mace as well. So we're going to start with the first point of interest, of which there are five. It'll be the fabulous master build near the portal. We just came through the portal, which is placed in a super cute little natural rock area. Oh my gosh, okay. The upside down mushroom, I freaking love that. Little, little nightlight, guys. Little nightlight. <laughs> okay, sorry. I can just, yeah. It just gives me, it gives me all the feels. Okay. Hold on. I accidentally exit out of that. Okay. So. What are these signs? Truly awe-inspiring, fabulous, freakishly good master build. Holy crap. I'm already impressed. Yeah, that portal right there. That's freaking awesome. I, <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. I love that portal. <gasps> you built a little... Oh. What? This is so cool. Dude. Not just a kiln. It looks like it has a face. <laughs> Is that SpongeBob's house? <laughs> it does look like a pineapple. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have more signs. The Shire. Timber. Footums? Footens. Timber Footens. From the portal to the right is the home of Timber Footens. They are a very busy and funny hobbit folk who yell Timber all day. Those are my kind of people. Those are my kind of people. <gasps> all right, lead the way, Mace. Oh my goodness. Can I, okay, I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm going. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. It, I wanted to stop, but I'm not going to stop. I saw some cute stuff. Look at this path. Look at this path. Tree line. Look at the lights. The little mushroom. I know, but we're going to have to go back to it. I'm, fo I'm following Mace. Oh! <gasps> This is the overview, guys. We're doing an overview. The home of the Timberfootens. Because near the portal is also the beekeeper. So we're going to go back to that, guys. Um, this is freaking insane, dude. Dat arch doe. Dat arch doe. Holy shit. That is freaking awesome. I... Oh, how did you... So you laid each one of these to create the circle. You guys, if you've ever built in Valheim, you know, like, <laughs> that is not an easy feat. Look at the fan shape. The, the pattern is so awesome, Mace. Oh my gosh. Like, 
Oh my gosh. The fan shape. And then the symmetry. Damn, dude. Damn. Damn. Okay, so we're about to enter the home of Timber Footen. Okay, well, all right, I'm noticing a theme here. We have patterns on patterns. Look at that. Look at the floor. I haven't even looked up yet. Look at the floor. The symmetry. I see it. I see it. Wow. Freaking wow. The logs. Oh my gosh, the timber. Get it? Timber. Oh, wood hog. <laughs> this is incredible. What a nice touch. <laughs> I'm, yeah, the patterns. This is crazy. Look at the detail, guys. Even the chimney, like the core wood chimney that leads up. That's insane. All of this. Nice. I see what you did there with the built-in chest. What does this say? No 12Zs, please. <laughs> Nice reference. We have a little shelf. Oh my goodness. And stuff in the chest, guys. Stuff in the chest. A little tankard. A little, another, another handcrafted table. Dude. Dude. And it's, a, yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Like, it fits. It is, they are, they are woodworkers. They love timber. This is their chop, chop little hobbits. cute as shit. That's cute as shit, Mace. Yep, and the for exactly, yep, the furniture on top, like, that's furniture that they're either um, working on or they just built it. Like, that is such a nice touch. I'm obsessed with this. Like, guys, this is just the sides of, of the end, or, uh, sorry, the entrance going out this way, right? And something that you would probably not even think about. Sorry, I'm gonna close you out real quick, because I want them to see this. Look at this. Look at this, the symmetry, the way that Mace has built all of this up as like a pedestal. And that's just, yeah, I just, yeah, little stuff like that just gets me. And then the, 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 uh, the window all the way around. Damn. Damn. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That door frame though. <gasps> what? There's a basement. Dude. Yeah, from the windows to the walls. Okay. <laughs> Underground basement storage forge area. Dude. Dude. The little shutters. I think this is so cool. It's like their storage room. It makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. Like it feels like, it, yeah, it, it feels like they're underground. They're working. Like this is their this is their their basement shop. They're like, hey, hey, go down and grab a couple extra birch logs. You know, I feel that. I feel immersed. What is this timber? <laughs> what well, keeping with the theme, May? Just keeping with the theme. It does feel functional, yes. Yeah, that's a good point, Wonder. It does feel functional also. That's why I love having the backstory, right? So we know, um, we know what the tone is. Near the portal is also the beekeeper who makes awful honey, but people like him anyway. Guys, guys, do you see the bee? And I don't know what it is about the way that you stack the core wood logs, but like it kind of gives me a honeycomb vibe. It gives me a bit of a, a honeycomb vibe. There's a little place to sit and eat. Oh, you put one on a pedestal, dude. Replace logs. Yep, yep, yep. 
just forewarning guys too, if you get ads, ads are going to be up in about 50 seconds. Beal, <laughs> Beal, Bow, Honey, Suckles, Honey Shop, and the little, look at this, look at that. The little peekaboo window with all of the wares and the honey jars. Like this, this is an adorable hipster shop that I would go buy honey from for 20, for $20 a jar. I would. Why? Because of the experience. 100%. It's a beehive house. Look at that. All the backup storage. More honey. Oh, God. I think that is so cool, dude. You kept with the theme. You didn't just put random stuff in here, didn't like left it at all. You made it seem functional. There's even gold there. Like, this is a place of business. And you made it feel that way. It's just backup honey, backup jars, and then gold. I. I freaking love that. It does. It feels functional. I wonder, I'm so glad you said that. What's on top? The totem. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Well. Well. Beheim. Okay. Okay. So you guys already know that I love this. You already know what I'm going to say, right? Looks like a honeycomb. The inlaid wood here. The sections for each one, you guys. Can you open doors even though there's a ward? I believe so. I think it's because I'm the mod, so I should be able to. And then having the, the raspberries, because you need that for the jam, right? Again, tying back in. All right, question really quick. Yep. Who told Mace that we were suckers for symmetry? Yeah, true. Give it up. Give it up. Who said something? <laughs> I said it today, so there was no time. But yeah, Mace has literally nailed the symmetry. I mean, like, it, it's kind of a cheat code. I have said it many times during previous streams. It's literally in the rules. Oh. Oh, so you did it. Got it. Okay, cool. Bye-bye. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Yep, somehow it's all my fault again. I killed the boars. Mace, this... Damn. You blew me out of the water with this. I it is very pleasing to my my own personal eye and my personal opinion to see something like that. Because not only does it tie, tie in with the honey theme, it's symmetrical, it's unique, it's yeah, okay, sorry. I could gush. I'm just yeah, phenomenal dude. Lots of detail in the shire. Oh god, okay, keep keep me up to date. I confessed. Eat some honey. I should eat some honey, you're right. <laughs> I need food. The best is yet to come. Oh my gosh, guys. I know we have so many to go through. Okay. <gasps> Welcome to the Shire. So guys, this is the Enchanted Shire, a little community of hobbits who like to enjoy life at the coast. Built between, built between two, uh, two trees here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. Yep. Keep me on track, Mace. Keep me on track. No, I know. I haven't even scratched, like scratched the surface, I feel like, of Mace's build. So I'm like, crap, I need to... <sighs> Gardener Samwise Gamgee. That's so good. That's so good. <gasps> okay, this is awesome. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. I love this. I would live here. I would live here. This is a little garden, garden tree house. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> okay. 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 Um, this floor, this floor, holy shit. Okay. God. Oh my God. I'm blown away, dude. This is Okay, this is actually kind of exactly what I wanted to build over the water like a bungalow. And you, like I had this random ass idea ages ago and then seeing this is like, oh my God, it's possible. Oh, don't you lose him, Samwise. Okay. 
this build floored feisty. <laughs> Face, dude. Okay, I just, yeah, this is crazy. This is even, <gasps> okay, okay, I know, I got it, okay. This is incredible. Okay. Yeah, no, I would live there. I would live there happily. Forget everything else. Forget everything else. That is so cool. These, you didn't even use the spiral stairs. You made them. You made spiral. That's so weird. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Dude. This is so cool. This is so cool. I should probably quit the game. Look at this. Look at the, the way that they, oh my gosh, the lights and then the, eh. Sauron. <laughs> Sauron, the one star board. Let's go. Oh crap. There's a lot. Um, base, is this all yours? Lining the path. Sue means born in German. Sau. Sau means born in German. Oh my gosh. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, okay, I guess I had no freaking idea how intensive some of these were going to be. Um, dude, that is... Uh, okay, the Flintwood lining the path. One. Two. How the hell? You got the vines? You got the vines covering this. How? How? Yes, this is an S tier Hobbit roof indeed with the circular door. Look at this. And then the circle windows. This is, this is a Hobbit home. This is a Hobbit home. The, the vines come with the mod. The plant everything mod. Damn. And the little baby garden too. A pipe a day keeps the graylings away. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So much detail to the pattern. Hobbits don't get big beds. Well done. Well done. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then the stuff on the windowsill. And then the planter boxes. Valbo bag and says welcome. And then Sauron's little... This is so cool. This is, look at that. Oh, and the color scheme. Yep, the bed's made of a thatch roof. It's clever, because it's smaller now. Look at that. And then using these. Wow. Absolutely wild, man. Wild. A little extra place to store the wood logs. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Again with the archways. Wow. Wow. You built an entire village. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. And there's so much. You're right. I've, had I known, had I known how insane some of you guys were going to be, I should have broken this up into like two days. I could spend an entire day on each of them. This is crazy. Mace. I want to see the actually. I want to see the outside of the structure. Like this. It's just, it's, it's in the terrain, guys. It's in the terrain. Just like a proper hobbit village should be. Bunk beds? There's bunk beds? <gasps> they are bunk beds. I didn't even notice that. And then the shelves on the corner, too. And then the little stairs to get up. Okay. Okay. Those are bunk beds, guys. This is wild. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Mmm, it looks like Beastro Lights. It looks like Beastro Lights. And a little patio, an outdoor, over the water patio. Broadwater, this is beautiful. Agreed. Agreed. Look at that. You were able to make it look like it's tapered, dude. 
This is, this is incredible. Oh, the little baby access to the detail. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm, the roofing, the everything, dude, everything is insane. The little puffer fish. The architectural style of this is so unique. The shape. I just, I can't. This is a village. Yep, this is a village. The puffer fish. Yep, yep. And then lining it with the, um, with the flint rock. I don't know why, but it just like, it just has that contrast. It just pops and it just does it for me. Orheim. Is this why I shouldn't, I should, so I shouldn't hit, uh, shouldn't hit kill everything. Hogwarts. Oops, wrong movie. <laughs> Cause they're, they're boars. You get it? They're, they're boars. Yeah. Are you an architect IRL mace? Are any of you? Cause I feel like y'all have to be, or you guys are literal art geniuses. Okay. Thank you. <gasps> nice little entryway. Wait, wait, wait. Araborn. Orindel. Gimli. Horrid. Guys, guys, welcome to Jurassic Park. Legolas. You guys noticing a theme here? Jeez, those boar names. <laughs> It's almost, it's almost like you knew I was going to sit there and just go ham. Get it? <laughs> Those boar names indeed. Those boar names indeed. And I know, I know Jazz had really good boar names too before I slaughtered all of them. Celeborn. And the little, dude, the fence. Pippin. The fence. All the little... The little path in here, like crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. Okay. I'm, I am genuinely astounded by the amount of detail that you put into every inch of this entire village. We, okay. We tasked you guys with a build, one structure, and you created a fucking village. That's a lot of you did that actually. I'm <laughs> insane. Where the hell is Mary? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that design. Mmm. Wow. Wow. <gasps> Fishheim. Look at the dock. Look at the dock. Shit. Holy shit. I've never seen anything like this. This is totally unique. Fishheim. You know I love that. You know I love that. I... It's a little place for the, everyone to fish. Having the fishing pole on the dock, a cleaning station. Maze, I must say, this is like... What did, what did, what, Wonder, what did you say earlier? Like, it's, it feels practical. It feels like it's usable. I feel immersed because you've thought of every little thing. It's a fish house. So there's fish on here for cleaning. And like, you got a bucket. It's functional. Yes, it's very functional. And this, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. That, look at this. Now that's, that is a unique bridge. I'm just, yeah. I have, guys, I have no idea. I. Yeah, I pretty, at this point, I'm pretty much, yeah. Now the big one? Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. That's beautiful. Mace, this is beautiful. The prancing deer. At the end of the Shire, over the bridge, is the biggest point of interest. The Prancing Deer. A beautiful restaurant and inn with a second floor and a boat dock. This was actually my first build. So everything else was secondary. 
And then the statue. <laughs> you even have a hood. This is insane. This is insane. The build, the, the, the round architectural style, it just, it just like hits me right here. I just love it. I love it. I love it. So genius indeed. The attention to detail. I, guys, I, I should have looked, I should have looked ahead of time to give a five day tour. Yep. Oh, you know I love that. There's plants inside, and it's symmetrical, and there's little gardens and a little, little place to sit with drinks. Today on the menu. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Endless mead. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. Dude. This is amazing. Look at the windows. The fish in the bucket. The stocked, oh my gosh. It feels, it does, it feels like a fully functioning space. Points off for angry bees. <laughs> They're just mad at me. Hi Austin. Yeah, which mods did you use, Mace? The plant everything. Oh my god. The lights in here. The mushrooms as lights is such a good touch. The windows. Look at the symmetry, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the symmetry. Same as all. Damn. You know what happened when one group of people went on a three-hour tour? A three-hour tour. I do, in fact, know. I love this. I would eat here. This is like a, this is a fancy restaurant. This, there aren't words, dude. There aren't words. <laughs> hey, lovely, thanks for the follow. There simply are not words. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yep, plant everything, gizmo, fuel eternal. Skull, skull indeed. Skull indeed. Look at that, and you have food on every table, dude. Wow. Look at the stairs. There's birds inside too. What a natural, what a lovely natural effect. One night per room, 10 gold. This is awesome. This is awesome. Using the heads. Yep, yep, as little, the, the little planters too. I love this. Look at that. Look at that. I, I should just give up now. Look at these rooms. Oh my God, little bunk beds again. Oh, and a little sitting area to look out over the water. I would stay here. I would stay here, 100%. Yep, you did this for all, you made all of them. Dude, this is crazy. This is a, this is a B and b This is a B&B. Yep, yep, it is a Shire B&B. Oh my God. Okay. I'm also lost. How did you get back down? You were standing there on purpose so that I would know how to get down. Exit. And you put the exit sign for me. Thank you. I appreciate that. I am learning so much. I am intimidated as shit, but I'm also just, I'm impressed. And I'm, actually, I'm honored. I'm honored that I have so many creative geniuses here. <laughs> well, a hoyer. The little, the little... Oh, we're going to go out to the water. Look at this. Wow. Love that. You know I love that. You know I love that. Look at this. Look at it. From every angle, you see something different, right? Like, there's just so much texture. There's so much, so much time and effort put into the, the design of this, guys. I'm blown away.
This is crazy. I, I'm obsessed with it from the inside and the outside. It feels cozy. It feels like a cozy Shire themed Airbnb. Yep. Yep. With like the coolest floors. I love the floors. That's something we haven't seen yet. Oh, oh, going through. Now that's a boat dock. Now that's a boat dock. Wow. Wow. It's in the shape too. This is crazy. This is crazy, dude. Even the roof, guys. Even the roof matches. And look at that. It comes in and it looks like an eye. Welcome, traveler. That's the little touch I love. Right there. You made it look like a candle. You took a rock. Yeah, it is kind of. <laughs> but that means it's natural. It's natural. Look at that from the outside, guys. Oh my gosh. Mace, this is crazy. The sweat lodge. Not sweet, guys. Not sweet. Sweat. Yep, yep. This is a luxury. This is a luxury Airbnb. A sauna. Yep, yep. With a sauna. And with a sauna. With a sauna and a store and a restaurant over the water. Hi, Aria. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm... I can't. I can't. My brain can't wrap. Can't wrap around. Look at the windows, guys. I think what what like what gets me the most, first of all, is the floors. The floors, and then the shape, the 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 really unique architectural style. Because while it's not in the earth, like the main build, it still feels hobbity. It still feels like round and cozy and you know it gives me that same feeling like i feel like i'm in a, like i don't know like a modern shire resort <laughs> hey sheesh thanks for the follow and this you know you're a hobbitary you know i love this that's quaint is that's so quaint mace is there anything that i missed yeah can i yep absolutely So now we have the night vision. Hey, night. Thanks for the follow. Wow. Wow. Yeah. The, the way that you set up this, this fire pit over here, it's so good. It's so good. Hey, Lynch. Thanks for the follow. I'm blown away, dude. This is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay. Is there anything I missed, Mace? Look at that. That's it? In the little Sauron. I, I, the bunk beds. Okay. This, yeah, it is truly cozy as hell and breathtaking. I'm, <sighs> like, look at that little village, guys. Oh my gosh. Even the thistle, even the thistle. Okay. So guys, Mace. Well done. Well done. Holy crap. Um, where's my Mace, where's my thing with my favorite floors? Where's that? I want to show that one more time. And then we're gonna start pulling. We're gonna start pulling for Mace's the Mace Shire. Aw, Satan, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Aw, five less people who have to pause for the ads during the comp. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What floors? They're the ones with the thatch. Where's the, 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 is it the beehive one? You had so many. I just, where's the bee? We have the boar area. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Satan. <laughs> All right. Yep. Let's get the poll up or Masonista. One second. All right, guys. We have completed the tour overview. The first poll will be for Ingenuity. 
Let's fucking go indeed. So ingenuity, how creative was this design? Guys, if you are in chat, if you are on PC, please, please, please take some time and show, show some love and vote. Vote for um, one through five on ingenuity for Mace's design. Oh yes, this is where I wanted to be, thank you. Gardner Samwise Gamgee. Um, yes. And it's not just PC. You can vote on mobile too. It should be in your chat. Yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So please guys, please vote. The more, the more votes we have, the more accurate, um, more accurate we are. These guys have worked so hard. I am so beyond impressed right now. So ingenuity off the charts for me, um, off the charts. One, this floor, creating a peekaboo floor. The, the way that Mace created the, created a functional, like, little village resort town that's Shire themed. Like, for me, having, like, the honey place, the, the, the gold, um, the, the stock shelves, I'm, the ingenuity is off the charts. Like, it's so creative. It's so creative. Um, the attention to detail, again, is just insane. Using the mushrooms as lights, little bistro lights. 